Do you feel like your home has become a cluttered mess? Are you looking for an easy way to get rid of the chaos and create a fresh start? Then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you five simple things that you can do right now to declutter your home and clear out the unnecessary items. You'll be amazed at how much better your home will look and feel after following my tips. So don't miss out, let's get started. As we continue to search for ways to improve our home environments, we must also consider the energy that surrounds us. It is important to be mindful of any negative energy that may be lurking in our homes and to take steps to clear it away. Dolores Cannon believes that our thoughts and actions can impact the energy around us and that we should pay attention to any items that may be blocking positive energy from flowing freely. By taking action to clear out negative energy, we can create a welcoming and peaceful environment for ourselves and our loved ones. Cannon has identified more than five factors that can impede our positive energy flow, resulting in stagnation and even poverty in many cases. Number 5. Our clothes are not just mere pieces of fabric we put on our bodies every day. They carry with them a certain energy that has the power to affect us in various ways. Sometimes, this energy can be positive and uplifting, making us feel confident and radiant. Other times, it can be negative, holding us back and keeping us stuck in the past. And we all have those clothing items tucked away in our closet that we know we won't wear again, but can't seem to let go of. To truly align yourself with your current energy, it's crucial to get rid of the clothes that no longer light you up, whether you choose to donate, consign, or ethically dispose of them. By letting go of these items, you are not only decluttering your physical space, but also your mental and emotional space. This act of release allows you to express gratitude for their previous role in your life Acknowledge the growth you've experienced and welcome new clothes that truly light you up and align with the person you are today. Remember that every decision you make, even when it comes to clothes, is an opportunity for growth and self-love. Number 4. It's easy to fall into the habit of hanging on to broken items, whether it be that old appliance or a piece of furniture that's seen better days. But did you know that? These possessions can actually disrupt the flow of energy in your home. Broken objects are a constant reminder of unresolved issues and can leave us feeling stuck. In fact, they can even drain our energy and affect our mood. To make positive changes in your life, it's important to start by clearing out the old and making way for the new. Gather up those broken items and make the decision to either repair or dispose of them. If they can't be fixed, Consider donating or recycling them. Embrace the Marie Kondo method and only keep belongings that spark joy or serve a purpose. It may seem like a small step, but getting rid of broken items can help create a calmer or more peaceful home that allows positive energy to flow freely. Number three. Now let's talk about shoes. Shoes are an integral part of our daily lives that deserve more attention than we give them. Not only do they provide comfort and protection, but they also connect us to the earth. Through our shoes, we can feel the ground beneath us, and this is a grounding experience that can keep us centered. However, it's important to remember that our shoes can also carry negative energy. Worn out shoes that we never wear can represent old baggage from the past, and this can lead to a broken path in life. It's crucial to keep our shoes clean and replace them when necessary. Wearing ratty, muddy shoes can bring negative energy from outside into our homes, which can impact our mood and well-being. By investing in the right kind of shoes, cleaning them regularly, and replacing them when needed, we can start fresh and move forward with a new positive outlook. Remember that everything we surround ourselves with carries an energy, and our shoes are no exception. Let's put some thought into the shoes we wear and ensure that we choose wisely to help us lead a more fulfilling and positive life. Number 2. Grieving the loss of a loved one is a deeply personal journey, and letting go of their possessions can be especially challenging. However, objects and clothing from people who are no longer with us should be mindfully sorted through and released. 
These items can serve as a physical reminder of what we have lost and can interrupt the manifestation process of those individuals. The law of attraction teaches us that our thoughts and emotions determine what we attract into our lives and holding on to items from the past can prevent us from moving forward and cultivating new experiences. By setting the intention to honor their soul's journey, we can make space for our own growth and continue to attract positive energy into our lives. Donating their clothing can also be a loving way to keep their memory alive and support others in need. It may be difficult, but it is important to remember that our loved ones will always be with us in spirit and we can honor their memory in many other ways. Number 1. Have you ever walked into a cluttered room and immediately felt stressed and overwhelmed? The truth is, surrounding yourself with unnecessary items can have a negative impact on your mindset and well-being. Instead, clutter can create a blockage to the flow of positive energy throughout your home, which can affect not only your physical space but also your mindset and overall well-being. By taking the time to go through your drawers, shelves, and spaces, and removing unnecessary items, you can lift your vibration and mood while invoking a greater sense of harmony in your space. This, in turn, allows the law of attraction to work more effectively. But why stop at decluttering? After clearing out the excess, why not consider rearranging your space for even greater harmony? Incorporating elements, such as cleansing plants, crystals, and natural decor will refresh the energy of your home, creating a clear and focused space for exploration and manifestation. By taking these steps to remove clutter and elevate the energy in your home, you'll be well on your way to a more focused and fulfilling life. Our homes are more than just physical structures that house us. They are our own personal retreats where we can be ourselves and find solace after a long day. Every corner of our homes carries our emotional energy, and to effectively harness this energy, we must take care of our homes. Just like how we keep ourselves healthy and nourished, we must also take care of our living spaces, making other small changes, like opening windows to let in fresh air or adding plants to purify the air and bring a touch of greenery, can also make a significant impact on the energy flow within our homes. When we maintain a sense of organization within our living spaces, we create an environment that is conducive to positive vibes and good fortune. Taking care of our homes as if they were our own personal temples is key to creating a harmonious balance within ourselves and within our surroundings, which, in turn, provides us with a space where positive energy can thrive and miracles can happen. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. In case you have any questions or queries about the video, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay curious and keep learning.